everyone. Welcome to day one of the Give to Be Love, Be Love Revolution fundraising campaign. My name is Debbie Herbeck and I am the co-founder and director of Be Love Revolution. And I'm very happy to be here with you today. And joining me today is Juliana Macari. Juliana wow. is also the co-founder of Be Love Revolution. So welcome, Juliana. Thank you, Debbie. So last year, Be Love Revolution had a very successful in-person fundraiser. Obviously, this year we can't have an in-person fundraiser, so we're coming to you virtually. And now more than ever, it's so important to give to Be Love Revolution. Over the course of the next 10 days, our goal is to raise $30,000. Wow, it sounds like a daunting <laughs> goal, but I am so confident that we can do this Definitely. and we're gonna be doing it online, but I think God is really gonna provide for us. So before we um, begin telling you a little bit about how this is gonna happen, I just wanna go back to the beginning, which is always a very good place to start, <laughs> right? Um, and the time when the Lord began speaking to us, Juliana, about really providing a culture and an environment for young women to really grow in their relationship with the Lord, to really grow in their friendship with one another, and then, in essence, to be really sent out into the world to be on mission with Christ. So take us back to seven years ago, 2013. We began meeting um, in the basement of Stu uh, St. Mary's Student Parish mm -hmm. Chapel because it was available to us and we began to gather girls to really um, not only help them encounter Jesus, but really disciple them, teach them how to pray, teach them how to speak about their faith, teach them how to um, live in communion with the Lord and with one another. And from that, we really saw the movement begin to grow. And we saw needs coming to us from high schools, from junior highs, from other places to really grow this movement. So here we are today, moving from 2013, you and I sitting in my kitchen or a coffee shop, kind of working and talking to a staff now of six women who are being paid um, to do this full time, who have been impacted and touched by the revolution themselves, and we need money to make this happen. Yeah. So I just want to say a little bit about what the mission of the Be Love Revolution is. Uh, the mission's threefold. It first is to be his, and that is just really helping girls to meet Jesus personally, plain and simple, to have a personal encounter with him to know his love for them. And then secondly is to be free. And that is all about being free from the lies that the world tells you, um, the lies that you hear about yourself. Um, and then lastly is to be love. And that is to take the love that you have personally experienced and to be able to bring it to everyone that you meet and every situation that you're in. So it's a pretty simple mission, but mm -hmm. it's really the call of being a disciple. So, okay, how is this gonna happen? So over the course of the next 10 days, each day a new video will be posted. And to see those videos, you can go to beloverevolution.com forward slash give to be love. And there you can see the video that was posted for the day or a video that you may have missed or anything like that. What I think is so great about these videos is who are you gonna hear from are people who are actually in the trenches working with young people. You're gonna hear from parents who are trying to raise their young daughters as disciples. You're gonna hear from grandparents. You're gonna hear from educators, from priests, from youth ministers. You're gonna hear from speakers who are out there in the world. And this world is such a difficult place as we know today to really raise up disciples who understand and have been impacted by the mission of Be Love. You're gonna hear from them each day in a very short, we promise you won't take a lot of your time, but a very short way and concise way what the ministry is all about. And I think these videos will really build you up and inspire you and hopefully inspire you to support us in this mission. So maybe you can just say a little bit about who we will hear from on the first day. Sure. Um, the first day is going to be amazing and it's gonna come your way in just a few minutes, but um, what you're going to love about this is you're going to hear right from two young women who have been impacted by the ministry and who have grown in friendship with one another. It's a beautiful story. I don't want to give too much away, but Faith Fosdick, who is now a sophomore at Michigan State, and Bridget Grum, who is a senior in high school, they're going to tell their story of how they met, a real God moment, how God worked through their friendship and worked through Be Love Revolution to really bring each of them into a deeper relationship with himself. So. 
It's going to be amazing. And when we come back after you hear the, listen to those videos, we're going to tell you a little bit more about the campaign and how we can kick it all off. God bless you. Hi everybody, my name is Faith Fosdick and I grew up here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I am a sophomore at Michigan State University. And I'm Bridget Grum and I go to St. Catherine of Siena Academy and I am a senior in high school. And we just really wanted to share with you all our story of how we met and how Christ grew a friendship between us through Be Love Revolution. Yeah, so it's actually a really cool story. Um, I was sort of finding myself in um, a place struggling mentally and I just really knew that I needed deep, holy friendships in my life and people to guide me and lead me closer to Christ. And so I was just praying in the Adoration Chapel one day and really asking the Lord for this. And he, um, a week later, I needed a, um, to find a summer job. And so my mom, just me and her were driving around and we pulled up to Bonefish Girl in Novi and she's like, just walk in and go see if they have any spots available and so I ran inside and this beautiful girl was at the host stand and I asked for an application and long story short I got the job um, and then so my first shift that I worked it was with Faith and we just sort of got to talking and I knew there was something so different and special about her and just the way that she was so confident and the way that she talked about her faith was just so different from anyone I had really ever interacted with and um, yeah, so we just got to talking and she invited me to Be Love Revolution and I had never heard of it in my life. And I was like so nervous, but I was like, sure, I'll go. And so she's like, Bridget, you can be my plus one and I'll take <laughs> such good care of you and introduce you to everyone. And I was like, okay. And then, um, yeah, so then the next week she, or she invited me there and then I, walked in and everyone was just like Faith. Like everyone was just so sweet, so confident, so outgoing, and just so outspoken with their love of the Lord. And it was just exactly what I needed. Like it was so crazy. And um, yeah, so I went for the first time and it was just so beautiful. I, um, after the talk was over, I ended up like just crying. Like I was just so overwhelmed by what God had did for me and where he brought me and just all these amazing role models and just, once again, like so outspoken in their love of the Lord and just people to sort of guide me through high school and just all of like the pressure of society and everything that people bring on you as a young woman, um, it gets to be so much. And I think it's so important for every young girl to have a place where they can go and just be filled with women who are just um, filled with the Holy Spirit and just want to help you and want to guide you and just they take you out of your normal week you can go to VLR and just just be renewed and just see all these wonderful people who want to guide you and lead you closer to Christ and I just thought that was so amazing and I'm just so grateful to VLR and to Faith for inviting me <laughs> Bridget used the word plucked she said I, I get plucked, <laughs> plucked out of my week and I get plucked into BLR yep. and I feel refreshed and you yeah. feel renewed, right? Yeah. 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 So amazing. Oh, awesome. Great way of telling that story. Um, from my perspective, it was really cool. It was just a normal day for me going to work. Um, and I actually interned for Be Love this summer. Um, so I was just at work one day and Bridget walked in and she asked for an application to work. And from the moment I saw her, I just knew that the Lord was, was kind of nudging me and kind of saying, I want this girl as my own. I want her heart. Um, and that's something that I haven't always ever experienced. Um, sometimes you have feelings like that, but it's really truly something that you, you start to feel the closer you get with the Lord and the more foundation um, he becomes in your life. And I was able to recognize that moment and to see that as the Lord calling me to invite Bridget just through the art of invitation because of the formation I've received through Be Love Revolution, through having amazing mentors like Debbie and the team, um, to truly just be able to recognize that the Lord was calling me in that moment to step outside and to bring her and to just simply invite. Um, and so I did, I just kind of brought up the topic of, hey, do you have any experience with Be Love Revolution? Have you ever heard of it? Um, I want to invite you to come as my plus one yes. to just experience, just give it a try. And um, she kind of broke down right away and was like, yes, this is something I've been looking for. Like this is something that I've been praying for and asking for. Um, and it was just really amazing to see how the Lord 
was able to use me and and I know that that was not just all through my own ability but that was truly through the years of formation and the years of leadership skills training that I've received through Be Love Revolution, through Pine Hills Camp, through all the amazing retreats and ministry I've received through Be Love. Um, and it's something that I've continued to grow um, with and Bridget is now beginning to grow in that as well. And so we're just so grateful to Be Love Revolution because I wouldn't even know her. Um, and she like at all, she doesn't work at Bonefish anymore. No. So <laughs> the fact that we get to see each other once a week at least through Be Love now is just truly such a gift and I have only the Lord to thank for that um, and only the formation I've received through Be Love um, and all the leadership formation. So we truly just want to ask you to consider donating so that we can continue to grow and so that other young women can be impacted through Be Love Revolution in the ways that I've been impacted and the ways that Bridget has been impacted. So please consider, we're praying for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for, so much for watching our first video. I think it was really great that we started this campaign mm -hmm. with Faith and Bridget's testimony. Yeah. And that's because I really think they represent the core of the mission of the Be Love Revolution. And it's not just about giving the girls facts and information, but it's about really equipping them to go out and be God's love. And I think that's what we saw in their testimony. Um, people invested in faith and in her relationship with the Lord and then she was able to take what she learned and give that to someone else. So it's like a ripple effect. And that doesn't just happen. That's something that you have to be really intentional about. And that is what the staff is doing at the Be Love Revolution. And I think it just speaks to how important it is to give in this time. Because plain and simple, the ministry can't continue without your help and support. So. Over the course of the next 10 days, you will see a video every single day, mm -hmm. and we will be trying to raise $30,000. So once again, in order to be able to see the videos, you can go to beloverevolution.com forward slash give to be love. So now I'm going to turn it over to Debbie to talk a little bit about how you can give. Okay, so thanks, Juliana. I agree. I thought the testimony was so moving. and. This is why I believe so passionately in what we're doing. It's because of these young women and the, the impact they will continue to make on their peers and for really, hopefully, generations to come. But anyway, back to how to give. There's three ways that I want to direct you for how you can give. The first is give. <laughs> Sounds so obvious, but give. As Juliana said, we need $30,000 in 10 days. And so... There are a couple different ways you can give. One that's very dear to my heart is to join the Founder Circle. The Founder Circle began in 2015, and it was a way of really enabling families, um, parents, grandparents, people that support our mission to really invest in the BLR for five years. And if you think about it this way, it's like being able to see an eighth grader all the way through high school for those five years. And that money really goes mainly and primarily to, to helping our staff be, be part of us and to be regularly serving and ministering. So the Founder Circle is very important. We have more information on our website about how you can join the Founder Circle. The second is to become a pledge partner, which means just you're, you're donating money in a monthly way in order for us to continue what we're doing. And the third way is just to give a one-time donation and to give maybe that one-time donation more than once so that we, we have that money coming in. So please give. The second way that you can support the Be Love Revolution is to share. Share what we're doing with those who could benefit from this ministry. Share this campaign as it comes into your inbox, as you see these videos. Um, share it with the people that you know who could really, far and wide, who could really benefit from this and who we could benefit from knowing as well. And then the third way, and perhaps the most important way, is to pray. During this really difficult time, especially for young people to be raised in this culture that is increasingly anti-Christian and hostile to our faith and to our values, we need to invest in our young people and we need to invest in the ministries that are really helping them to grow as disciples. So pray for us, pray for our team, pray for the time that we spend with these young women, women for the families, pray for our ministry. We look forward to spending the next 10 days with you, to watching these videos. Hopefully you will be as inspired as we are and passionate about this 
cause. Thank you in advance for all your support. God bless you. Thank you.